Trans Surfer and the Trans Surfing Curious. My name is Renee Garcia and this is Trans Surfing TV and today we're gonna have a fun one. Cosmic Bitch. That's how I like to refer to myself. I'm a cosmic bitch y'all and I'm totally okay with that and one of the really cool things that reality trans surfing has given me in the last five years is the ability to I don't want to say detach because I'm still in the act of detaching, but really give less importance to what other people think about me. And also it has really allowed me to be okay with parts of myself that I really wasn't okay with in the past. Like the part of myself that asks for something first for myself before giving something to somebody else or the part of myself that says no to somebody or the part of myself that doesn't care right like there's certain things that i really care about that are in line with my heart and mind coordination that have to do with other people but then there's certain other things that i just don't care about like homelessness, right? This is one that I've had a long relationship with and I've been very giving or feel sorry or feel guilt or feel some sort of negative feeling about. And finally, at a certain point, I let that part of myself go. And I just learned to say no, right? Somebody asked me for money, I just say no. And I don't feel bad about it. If I feel like giving by chance, I absolutely do. But I just feel good now choosing the things that I want to participate with and then really turning away from the things that I don't, that don't suit me or my intentions or my heart, heart and mind coordination. I'm totally okay with that, right? And this is really, really a very freeing, liberating place to be in. Before I get started with the lesson, remember to like this video and comment below. My world is taking care of me to enter my daily giveaway for my reprogramming stickers. And Reality 2.0 down below, Teachable Course, y'all. And remember to please subscribe too. So here's me saying no, right? And again, guilt plays a huge role in our society today. We definitely have gotten into the habit and the practice of glorifying the victim, right? Oh, this person's not doing well as well as you, so you need to feel bad, right? And all these kind of external scripts that want us to adhere to them, but adhere to them in a way that lowers our frequency and lowers our thought quality and tunes into a variation of reality that does not highlight what is good for us and our intentions. So this really gets down to that whole idea of like putting your mask on before you assist somebody else in putting their mask on, right? If you are not full, if you are not feeling 100%, you are okay with yourself, you're okay with your intentions, you're okay with your trajectory, you're okay with your decisions, um, and you go to assist someone else, you're kind of like uh, giving, giving your power away when it's not even full, and this really depletes a human being energetically and I can speak from experience because I very I was a very very different person even just 10 years ago I was a very different person I was struggling to find myself I was struggling to find my strength I was struggling to find my voice I was struggling to find what path I was going to take and how I was going to adhere to that path with conviction about what I was doing, my place in the world, um, sort of renovating some ideas I had that were part of a past programming. I've been very, very open about, you know, growing up in an environment that was heavily, heavily laden with guilt, like really serious guilt trips put on me for the majority of 
my adult life, my childhood, my teenage years, and that was that any time I voiced anything that had to do with uh, me or something that I needed or something that I wanted, I was being selfish and being selfish was a bad thing and you weren't looking out for the whole, right? And I took this into my adult life and again, I became kind of like, stomping, you know, I, I, I became very easy to walk over and very easy to um, abuse, very easy to take advantage of. I have been taken advantage of a lot in my life. And, you know, at a certain point when I found this and I realized that those were my decisions that were initiating and keeping that sort of stuff going, I switched over into Cosmic Bitch Road. <laughs> And I am so happy that I did because it's a much better place to exist. I still care for people in my life, but I care for people in my life in a way that I've checked in with already. And I know it's okay to give from this place because I have plenty to give. Now, when people ask me for things that I don't have to give, I have absolutely no problem saying no. So a few points that I would like to make about, you know, um, getting in touch with your cosmic bitch is putting yourself first. The first one, putting yourself first always. Again, getting back to putting your mask on before you assist others. Put yourself first. Now, this doesn't mean that you don't give the pendulum what it wants sometimes, right? Because in the book, Vadim talks about, you know, activating your inner observer, going into this, uh, going into this sort of automated mode where you give the pendulum what it's looking for so it leaves you quickly therefore your energy um, isn't spent trying to battle the pendulum or the pendulum just getting you sucking a bunch out of you and then your energy levels deplete and you have to work at getting them back up right so this is really about you um, putting yourself first knowing when to click over into that inner observer mode. I see myself, I see my reality, I see what's coming for me, and I'm going to deal with it in the quickest way possible that's least energy um, depleting for me, right? But then also knowing just when you can put yourself first and say no. And that gets me to getting comfortable with no and not now. This was a big one for me. I mean, if there is a cosmic bitch, this is it, right? Tufty, she is the ultimate cosmic bitch. And I think the reason that she takes this air of bitchiness in this book is because when you're getting pulled, when you're getting pulled into your outer screen, it's very challenging for you to create your own reality. And in order for you to create your own reality, you need to really practice and make living in the center screen more so than you have in the past one of your priorities because this is where you create this is where you 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 come up with ideas this is where things start to crystallize this is where you affect that future frame right from this center screen place and no and not now is a crucial tool in remaining in your center screen. So if I'm, if I'm, you know, center screening and creating something, let's say a course, or I'm doing something for one of my other businesses, and a friend calls me and says, hey, do you want to go for a walk? Not now or no, right? And feeling okay with that, your center screen is your priority. Third, help others take accountability by leading by example, right? So if you're, if you're taking accountability for yourself, your thoughts, your actions, and you're realizing that when you give in to guilt, that you weaken yourself, and then you sort of become that 
smaller version of yourself, maybe go down a couple life tracks. And if you take accountability for when you're giving in to something that is lowering you or your nature or your frequency or your thoughts or whatever it is, you're going to actually influence and affect the people around you just by showing that this is the program that people are taking accountability for their actions just by doing it yourself. So in regards to like my domestic situation with my boyfriend, this is really awesome because neither one of us really guilt each other and neither one of us really put anything onto each other like, oh, you're not taking care of me or, oh, you're not adhering to my script. There's a real air of accountability in the air. And if I say something along the lines of trying to get him to adhere to a script of mine I can catch myself pretty quickly and um, I can I can stop and be like hey you know I'm really sorry that I did that uh, it was me acting like a snail and take accountability for my for my actions that I don't want to be reversed and if they are reversed right so if my boyfriend comes at me and says something that's a little bit you know trying to get me to adhere to a script I go wait a second no that's not what we're doing here so back off and it's very it's very very much effective because really what this is 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 it's healthy boundaries don't be afraid to ghost this is a big one I have ghosted a number of people in the last few years especially the last year one person in particular I've been friends with for a long time like almost 15 years and she did some really crappy stuff to some other friends of mine and you know what I don't feel that I owe her a reason that I ghosted her the 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 things that she did to my other friends were really 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 bad shady things and I just don't want to have any of that on my track so I ghosted her and once in a while she'll text me and she'll be like oh my god I can't believe you're responding you know what I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad one bit. I don't owe her an explanation. I don't owe her anything. She's just not part of my reality anymore and I'm totally okay with that. Keep your layer of reality clean of guilt, duty, and entertaining the victim. Don't feel bad for people, right? Don't feel guilt. Don't feel duty to adhere or do something or think about others in a way that's going to lower your frequency. Now, if your heart and mind says that's a thing to get involved with, go for it, right? But don't go into a topic, an event, uh, a scenario, a conversation, and allow yourself to be lowered by feeling guilt, duty, um, victim stuff going on. It's just, it's not, it doesn't produce anything of quality in your reality. And before I end, stand your ground and back yourself up. So standing your ground really just means you committing, like this friend that I ghosted, this friend, um, I stand my ground now when she texts me she's like oh my god I can't believe you're still not responding you know what I, I'm standing my ground I'm not gonna give in because she's coming at me with more ammo it's just I, I delete the text thread right and then backing yourself up this is a huge one and this is a this is one that I've really practiced over the last few years and it absolutely works so if you're gonna take anything away from this video I would definitely take this backing yourself up this simply means that when you make a decision when you think about something like you know what I'm not gonna have this person in my life anymore and this gets back to standing your ground this is just you in action of standing your ground so if you make a decision to not have somebody in your life anymore and that person comes back to you at a later point later than you know let's say a year after the decision was made and you you kind of like start to feel maybe whatever they're doing is working and maybe interacting with them or something like that back yourself up so back up that prior version of you and say no that version of me made that decision and i'm going to back that version of myself up in my current 
lifeline in my current version, right? I'm going to back up that decision. I'm going to back up that version of me in the past. And really, um, it's not up for any more debate. You already made the decision on a past life track and your current self is going to back up that decision and keep that going so you don't um, constantly have a bunch of stuff that's like always, um, it's always changing, right? You made a decision and then they change your mind and then you go back and then you feel bad and then you, um, you know, experience some other thing from them and then you get angry at yourself because why did I do that? Why did I accept their apology? Why did I whatever? This is just very, very energetically ineffective unless you truly feel like giving in and forgiving the person and having a relationship with them. Again, back yourself up and just like keep going with your decision, right? So I hope this helped. I hope you, uh, <laughs> I hope you find your your cosmic bitch today a little bit a little bit more and stand your ground and keep your layer of reality clean of guilt and put your mask on before you help others and all that stuff because I'm more effective this way in me helping others. If I'm not a cosmic bitch, I don't have the energy to do this and help people in the way that I'm helping people now. So you actually, in taking this stance, you reserve your powers for the things that really, really matter that are in line with your heart and mind coordination. So remember to do all the good stuff, subscribe, like, and comment, and thank you so much for watching my video, everyone. Bye.